Hello, my name is Kujosi. I am the admin of CJ Forex. Today, topic is on divergence, and um, we have different types of divergence, and these are strategy in which you can use to know when a trend is about to continue or a trend is about to reverse okay so before i go on let's go on definition of divergence um, can be divergent can be seen by comparing price action and movement of an indicator it doesn't really matter what indicator you use. You can use RSI, MACD, the stochastic, the CCI, and ETC. If price is making higher highs, the oscillator should also be making higher highs. If price is making lower lows, the oscillator should also make lower lows. If they are not, that means price and oscillator are diverging from each other and that is why it is called divergence. If you look at the picture below, you can see what we are saying. When there is divergence, it's either the two, this is the price, here is the price and here is the oscillator. Remember, you can as well use MACD, Stochastic, RSI, CCI, and many other oscillators to set this your divergence. Now, what we are saying here is that a divergence is going different way to Pali. Two people are not agreeing together. The rule says that if they are not agreeing together, there is divergence there. There is disagreement between buyers, between price action and um, oscillators. If you had bought just because it was in oversold and was starting to cross over, you would have gotten born as the pairs kept heading lower. Now, some people will just take it as a scenario, okay, um, the market is, is diverging and it has already gotten to oversold level, like people that trade retracement. Oh, this market has gotten to oversold level of stochastic. And you believe that because it has gotten to oversold level, that the market will keep, will now start going up. Far from it. <coughs> Far from it because a divergence has already happened. It's either a continuation of a downtrend or a trend reversal by the time we keep going on you understand what i mean here is what we call hidden divergence a hidden divergence can be defined as a trend continuation pattern anytime you spot it especially in a downtrend the market is going up the market is heading up while in a down in an uptrend in in the oscillator the market is heading down it means that the market is telling you that there will be a hidden divergence. That is a trend continuation pattern. By the time we keep moving on, we will talk about different pattern of different types of hidden um, divergence, sorry. We have hidden, we have regular divergence. So here too is uh, a scenario in our uptrend where the up is going down, why here is going up. It is a trend continuation. It means it's telling you that from here to here, once the market is heading down and the oscillator is actually telling you up, it, it means that the market will continue selling. When we talk about hidden divergence, it's a trend with continuation signal. It gives you an opportunity to spot out if a trend is about to continue going the original direction or the trend is about reversing. Let's continue. Now, in the in the in the upper this thing, we have lower highs. Why in the oscillator side we have higher highs? It means that when the oscillator is telling you the market is going up, 
while the price action is telling you it's going down, it simply means that the sellers will continue to sell because a divergence has occurred. And this kind of divergence, we call it hidden divergence. Now, here we have, there are two types of divergence. We have regular divergence and we have hidden divergence. On that regular divergence, we have a regular divergence is a train reversal pattern. A regular divergence appears when the market wants to change to the opposite direction. Let's assume that you are in a downtrend. With the help of regular divergence, you can as swear discover that the market is about to change. Let's look at it here. In a downtrend, we have lower lows. Lower lows consist of the lows of this, uh, in the price action, in downtrend, the low will continue going low. You understand? Lower lows. Now, if you look at it in our oscillator, remember we can use any oscillator. Oscillator is telling you what you should be watching out the oscillator because the oscillator is always right in regular divergence. Why in in regular divergence, oscillator is always um, right here. So you'll be watching out for what the oscillator is going to say. So here, you look at the regular divergence in a downtrend, lower lows, and the oscillator is telling you higher lows, okay? Higher lows. It implies that you should listen to what the oscillator is saying. That means the price is about, to, the market is about to change to the upper direction. Remember, every indicator have a message they pass to any traders who understand how they, 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 they signal it. This is telling you that the market is about to go up and suddenly the market went up, okay? This oscillator, it can be RSI, it can be stochastic, it can be MACD, it can be CCI, or a, any other oscillator. But in regular divergence, you listen more to oscillators more than uh, you don't. You don't focus on indicate. I mean, price. You focus on oscillator. Whatever oscillator tells you in regular divergence is what you will follow. Now, let's assume you are in a downtrend. You have been making profit here, and suddenly you spotted these lower lows and higher lows. What comes into your mind is for you to close yourself and prepare to buy. So what it is telling you is that early close up, prepare to start buying, okay? It gives you a signal for those who have not mastered regular divergence. They will not actually discover what regular divergence is all about. But by the time they, they master it, they will know when they have to leave the already existing market and start looking out for the expected direction of the opposite market. The same thing here in an uptrend. The market has been going up. Maybe you bought from here and market has gone to this level. And you now discover that there is higher highs here and lower lows here. Remember what I say, oscillator, you can use any oscillator like uh, MACD, RSI, Stochastic, CCI to do this. This is a bearish regular divergence. In this bearish, it is telling, when you say bearish, it means that it is telling you to watch out for a sell. Now, if you are in a buy and you spot this regular divergence, it, this regular divergence is telling you market will sell. That is why the oscillator is going down, why the price is going up, the oscillator is going down. It is giving you a message that if you're already on a buy market, close your buy and prepare to sell. Prepare to sell. 
then you can then use any strategy to look out for a cell. Let's read up the uh, write up on the this thing. In bullish regular divergence, there is lower lows, higher lows. Now the higher lows is the oscillator, while the lower lows is the price. And we listing more to price because the, the we still, we follow what the oscillator said. It's not the price that we will follow. Indicating on the latest strength, bears are exhausted. That means that the sellers are weak. Warning of possible trend direction change from the downtrend. Just like what I said, I said that with the help of regular divergence, you must you always listen to what oscillator is saying. Oscillator, whatever oscillator say is what you should follow. You don't follow what the price action say. We don't listen to price action. We only take advice. We take uh, advice from oscillator. The same thing in the bearish one. We have higher highs and lower highs. In this one, lower highs is this one. It's telling us that although market has been buying for quite a long time, you should prepare for a sell. Okay, that is a signal for you to prepare for a sell. And indicating on delaying weakness, bulls are exhausted, like the same opposite here, and warning of possible trend direction change from the uptrend to the downtrend. I believe you have gotten this. Now let's keep moving. On um, we are true with the regular divergence. I think we should go for, we go and make a live chart. Maybe live chart we explain better. I'm coming. Okay, let's share the screen. Now we will be using, I'm using, I want to use, um, I'm going to use stochastic here. I will delete this indicator. I will use stochastic on my own um, um, divergence. Here, if you look at this market here, we will start from the place where the uptrend started from to see if we have any divergence before this market went down, went up. Okay. You look at the most recent highs and recent lows. The most recent highs and recent lows is where you should be considering. The most recent highs and the most recent low. Here you can look at the market is coming up here. It's a divergence. Let's see if we can spot a valid divergence here. Okay. So here, if you look deeply, you can see that stochastic, which is the oscillator, is heading down. Before this uptrend, before this um, downtrend occur, our oscillator in the regular divergence in an uptrend has already spotted a selling divergence, which was here. If you can also take it like this, is still also clear. It gave us a signal from the early stage, giving us that whatever thing you are doing in this buying market, also you can adjust your profit or you can patch a close and prepare for a, a selling market. 
And eventually the market sold. You can see after the divergence, what happened? You can see how the market sold. This is a live chart on a, um, to show you how the thing managed to work. You can see clearly why the price in an uptrend is going up. The oscillator is telling you watch out for a buy, okay? Watch out for a buy, okay? This is the same thing. Now, let's look at it in a, a buying market, in a down, another downtrend. Before this downtrend occur, what actually happened here? Did we have a reversal, which is regular divergence? Okay, this is it. And then... Um, We didn't see here. Uh, let's let's pick for let's screw back to see clearly. We are looking for divergence, regular divergence before a a market. Okay, like this one now. The market is heading down. If you look deep from here, from this is the lowest peak. Okay, let's see if we can get any. Okay, here the market is a regular divergence from here. Then this one is saying, maybe. Okay, here is staying up. Why the other place is staying down? Or we use like this. It's like this we use. Okay, that means I can I swear use here. Okay, here is good. You can see clearly as the market is heading down, the oscillator is telling you it's a buy. You prepare for a buy, buying direction. Okay, and this is called regular divergence. As hope have done justice on this, you can do your own back test and then repeat the video. Don't forget to enroll into our academy because we have a lot to give you. Our training is a seven weeks training, just like the same way you are seeing the screen. That is what I, where I am now is Zoom class. I'm making a Zoom video, the same way you'll be in your comfort zone and be taking class from basic to advanced. So if you enroll into our academy, you do yourself good because the knowledge you acquire will set you free. You don't need to, you will not be, a, a, you will not be under bondage or looking for who to depend, you become your own boss, you become your own guy. okay? So, but if you keep jumping for, you don't want to pack in that knowledge, you don't want to grab that knowledge, you keep losing. This, if you really want to take forest to the next level, you need, for, you need to know what forest is all about and how to use it in your favor. So let's go, let's continue, okay? Now, today, and the next one, we are going to be talking on hidden divergence, okay? Now, hidden divergence, you remember in regular divergence, you listen to the oscillator. But here, hidden divergence is a trend continuation pattern. It's a trend continuation reverse, um, signal. It gives you, maybe you think that, oh, a retracement is about, to, maybe this market is about to change. With the help of hidden divergence, it will help you to spot out that this market is, a, 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 is going to continue. So what you should be looking at is one thing. You'll be looking at what the, in the, what the price is saying. You know, in, 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 in regular divergence, it is what the oscillator is saying. Here, we will not listen to what the, the, the oscillator is saying here, yeah, no. We will only listen to what um, um, price is saying. Whatever price said is what we will listen. And remember, hidden divergence can be defined as a trend continuation pattern, or it can be defined as a trend rate continuation signal. It helps you 
to spot the market and know that truly this market is about to continue. So you don't need to say the oh, market is about to reverse. It is helping you to know that the market is to continue. So here yeah, we have bullish and bearish hidden divergence. In an uptrend, you will be considering higher lows and in, a, in the oscillator, you'll be considering lower lows, okay? Lower lows means that here, here we'll be telling you selling, but here we'll be telling you buy. You know, you consider the, the lower low. When we mean the lowest peak, the first lowest peak from here to here is here. And the lowest peak from year to year after this retracement from year to year is here. Then if you look at the, if you connect it, you will see that here is going down. Why here is going up? You only listen to what the price is saying. This is hidden divergence. Then you look for, maybe you are trading price action strategy. You look for any pattern to enter earlier and set your take profit because you know the market is about to continue going up, okay now the same thing happens there this, this is a down this is a this is um a, a up uptrend in uptrend you draw your line in the lower bottom and the same thing here you draw the bottoms of the you connect bottom to bottom that is bottom to bottom then here to the same thing in an in a bearish market you connect to top to top Okay, top to top, top to top. How do you connect? If the top is telling you down and the oscillator is telling you up, you listen to what the, the price is saying. Because in this hidden divergence, you only listen to the, to the, to the um, what do they call it? You listen to what price is saying. You don't listen to what uh, oscillator is saying. It is in regular divergence that you follow what oscillator is saying. Regular divergence is for trend reversal. Why hidden divergence is for trend continuation. Do you get that? Now, a bullish hidden divergence, this is how it is defined. Higher lows and lower lows, okay? In the price, if the price is telling you higher lows, Follow what that is. It's telling you that the market will continue. That means the market will continue going higher lows. Then indicator underlying strength, good entry or re-entry. You can now re-enter for a buy. Okay. This occurred, this occurred during retracement. Maybe a retracement occurred and you want to know if the market will re we continue it is hidden divergence that will help you to know if the market is about to continue so in an uptrend nice to see you during the price retest of previous lows if you enroll into our academy there are so many things i'm going to show you about this hidden divergence that is why i mostly want you to go and enroll into our academy it will help you it doesn't matter how much it, our school fees is. All you have to do is to find your way and enroll into our seven weeks course. Let's continue. In the bearish lower, in the bearish, you consider lower highs and higher highs. The indicator is telling you, the oscillator is telling you buying, but that is higher high. Why the price is telling you lower highs and this is a down market the down trend starts from here so this is a down market so it's giving you as i can see after the, this thing happened did you see the market went went down that is it the same thing here after this hidden divergence what happened the market went up so you can now see that with the help of hidden divergence you can as well spot a continuation and enter very early if you're already on a retracement and you are making profit, you can as swear close it and enter for a continuation buy or sell. So this this is the where I can I can stop. But let me let us go to 
live chat so that you will see what I mean. You know, it, seeing is believing. Let's go to live chat. This time around, we want to talk about hidden divergence. I'm using, let's look out for a trend that is going up and how we can make good use of it. Okay. This is uptrend, right? From year to year is uptrend, right? Okay. And if you look at, we consider this is uptrend. Market has been going up all this way. After this retracement, I want to know if this market will continue after this retracement. So I will measure my line. This is the line. <laughs> this is the line. I want to take my, my distance. So I'm going to take from here. So yeah. So I'm taking from like this to like this. This is hidden divergence. With the help of hidden divergence, I was able to discover that this market will go up. So why the price action? Let me remove the line now. Why the price action is saying, sorry, why the price action is saying buy? The oscillator, which is stochastic, is telling me what? Sell. I will listen to price action. Then I will not, once I have spot a hidden divergence, I can then use my strategy to be looking out for a buy opportunity to continue my buy, okay? Then I know where, where to put my stop loss. My stop loss will always be the lowest peak of the first low that formed that form before the second low that made up the hidden divergence. So I'll always put my stop loss here. Let's look out for a bullish hidden divergence. You can see after the hidden divergence, what happened? The market continue. Okay, so let's look out for a bearish, a bearish hidden divergence. Hidden divergence, remember, is a trend continuation reversal but, um, signal. Sorry. It's a trend continuation signal. So in a downtrend, I'm looking for a downtrend that will, okay. Can I use this one? This load, no, 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 let me use a real downtrend where there is, okay, can I? And this is, uh, I'm not seeing a down, a valid downtrend. Need a long, okay, we can use this one, we can use this one. Now, this is a downtrend. In a downtrend, it is the high that you will be considering, okay? It is the high that you will be considering. And we are going to use this high. We can as well use this high, but this is a spike, okay? But let me see if there is any um, comfortable system. I'm going to use here this high. Another one, but if they are receiving divergence, I spot I spotted it. I want to use 
a scenario where you can easily understand clearly. Okay, I'm going to use this high here to this low. You see, remember in hidden divergence, we consider what? We consider, what do we consider? We consider the price. It is the price that we will be listing it. So after this retracement finish forming, I want to measure to see if I can get a hidden eye. I want to know if the market will continue. So here and uh, here, the market is telling me, the oscillator is saying buy. Why the price action is saying look out for a sale? I will listen to, to price action because it is a hidden divergence and my, my responsibility is to follow what the price action is saying. So I will look for opportunity on how to enter. If you are using price action strategy, if you have your own strategy, you can then use it to enter. And you can see after the hidden divergence, what happened? This is called bearish reading, hidden divergence. What happened? The market rallied down and went very low. Okay, it keep going. Even while here is telling you down, you can still see another divergence, hidden divergence again. So if you study hidden divergence very well, you will make a lot of money. With hidden divergence, there is a strategy that you will use on hidden divergence to enter very early. That is why I said enroll into our academy. If you really want to take forex business into consideration, you want to really take, because this business is one of the simplest business you can consider doing anywhere you are in the world. You don't need to carry you don't need to open a shop or an office. All you have to do, you make your daily income in the forest market. So I want you to consider this business of pushing yourself to the next level. Enroll into our academy, buy our indicator, our robots. You can get our robot. You can get also um, our price entry indicator, which I have the video below in the Telegram group, in the, in the channel in the in the facebook page we have all the this thing we also have investment package we have professionals to be managing your account and so on we also have vps where you copy you we post signal and you copy and paste on your lap on your trading platform to make daily profit don't forget knowledge is power when you have the knowledge, if I didn't have this knowledge, I wouldn't have come and teach you. I got the knowledge, I got the experience, and that's why I keep moving. So don't hesitate to enroll into our academy. Many people are enrolling. I want you to take this. The year is running out. You need to enroll and um, change your life. I hope you enjoy the hidden and regular divergence. And I believe that you will make the right decision by enrolling to our academy. My name still remains Ujosi, the admin of CJ Forex. Thank you and have a nice day. Don't forget, good message do not make good people, only good decision. Thank you.